what's happening guys so should you tune your motorcycle well in this video we're going to chat a little bit about that first of all let's talk about the bikes that are behind me over here you've got a triumph t595 that is a 955 cc hot rod triple from britain circa 1998. this thing over here that's a katana 1000 2020 model year you would think that there would be a vast difference between these two machines in terms of power, and I suppose on paper that would be correct. The Katana with its K5 GSXR 1000 based 1000cc engine on paper puts down 150 horsepower at the flywheel. The Daytona on the other hand, again 955ccs, puts down 130. But when you ride these machines, you would be forgiven if you thought that the Daytona made a bit more power. And the reason for that is all of the nannies that this Katana has in play. And this is, well, this is most motorcycles today. Give that motorcycle 80% throttle and you might get 60 or 50% up to a certain RPM. And then at that point, you will get full throttle only for it to be pulled back maybe later in the RPM range. This will give the impression of a very flat power band, not flat like a table as in predictable, but flat as in bland. Whereas an old school motorcycle like that T595 is not encumbered by the nannies. Any twist of the throttle, 10, 20, 50, 80%, that's how much those throttle bodies open up. The power is immediate and it is extremely smooth. No deceleration fuel cut off here. You get all the smoothness, which makes the riding experience buttery, not jerky, or at least the sense of jerkiness that you get with these newer motorcycles. What a tune will do, and this is regardless if you've decided to put exhaust or a slip on or anything like that on your new bike. What a tune will do, if nothing else, will make your new motorcycle offer up the richness and the fun that the old school motorcycles would produce because again, they had no nannies. They had nothing restricting them and they had nothing that was encumbering the riding experience. So. What a tune will do, will it'll take away your deceleration fuel cutoff, which will make your throttle inputs much more predictable and much more smooth, making mid-corner transitions extremely predictable and, in my opinion, much safer. What it'll also do is eliminate all of the lag that you can get for partial throttle inputs, especially at mid RPM ranges, say between five and 9,000 RPM, where the nannies seem to really be intrusive. You'll get all of that power back, which means that powering through apexes on your favorite twisty road will be more predictable. And again, that to me seems like it makes the bike a bit more fun and well, safer at that too. It's gonna do exactly what you're expecting it as you're rolling into the throttle. And again, we're talking about a thousand CC liter class, well, in this case, old school sport bike engine, you're expecting that type of power delivery and well, it can be disappointing if you don't get it with that twist of the throttle. So in short, yes, absolutely get that motorcycle tuned. It will make the bike a whole lot more fun to ride. And in my opinion, in some cases, even safer along the way. Now, of course, if you're putting exhaust on the motorcycle, it's gonna have to be tuned anyway. But for the guy that just wants to keep it totally stocked, but wants to get all the flavor of the old school goodness that you got used to a long time ago, get that thing tuned, get out and rip on it. You will thank me for this. And with that guys, I'm gonna wrap it up. Post up your comments, let me know what you think, and we'll catch you on the next one.